Hi guys! In this video, I'm going to discuss on transforming quadratic function in the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c into the form y equals a times the quantity of x minus h squared plus k and vice versa. Example number one, transform y equals 2x squared plus 8x plus 5 into the form y equals a times the quantity of x minus h squared plus k. So we're going to write here first y equals 2x squared plus 8x plus 5. Now what we're going to do first is we're going to factor out 2 here in the x terms. So we're going to have here y equals 2 times the quantity of x squared. Then 8x divided by 2 is 4x. So this will become plus 4x. So if we're going to multiply these two here, 2 times x squared is 2x squared. 2 times 4x is 8x. Then we're going to have here plus 5. Then next thing to do is we're going to complete the squares of this binomial here. So we're going to add in here the 1 half of 4, 1 half of 4, then we're going to square the result here. So 1 half of 4 is 2, so we're going to have here 2 squared, and that will be equal to 4. So we're going to add in here 2, then completing the squares here, we're going to have x squared plus 4x, then the number here, which is 4. So plus 4, then plus 5. Then in here, we're going to subtract the result here. So we add here 4. So what we're going to do is we're, we'll just multiply this one to 2. So 4 times 2 is 8. So that will be the number that we're going to subtract in the constant here, which is 5. So, we're going to have 5 minus 2 times 4 is 8. Then, expressing this one as a square of a binomial, we're going to have here 2 times quantity of x. Then, expressing this one, this, that will be x plus 2 squared. And the number that you use here is just the number that you have squared in the second step. So we have here 2 squared, so we're going to have here plus 2. Then we're going to have 5 minus 8, that will be negative 3. So this is now your answer. So y equals 2x squared plus 8x plus 5 is just equivalent to y equals 2 times the quantity of x plus 2 squared minus 3. Number 2. Transform y equals negative 2 times the quantity of x plus 6 squared minus 3 into the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So we're going to write first the given. y equals negative 2 times the quantity of x plus 6 squared minus 3. Then we're going to operate first this one, x plus 6 squared. x plus 6 squared is equivalent to x squared, then x times 6 is 6, x times 2, that will be 12x. Then the square of 6 is 36, so we're going to have your plus 36, then minus 3. Then multiply, we're going to have your y equals negative 2 times x squared is negative 2x squared. Then negative 2 times 12x is negative 24x. Then negative 2 times 36 is negative 72 then this will be minus 3 then y here will be equal to negative 2x squared minus 24x then negative 72 minus 3 that will be negative 75 so this is your answer y equals negative 2x squared minus 24x minus 75 number 3 Transform y equals x squared minus 2x minus 1 into the form 
y equals a times the quantity of x minus h squared plus k. So we're going to write first y equals x squared minus 2x minus 1. Then, since this one, the numerical coefficient of the x squared term is 1, so we're going to directly complete the square of the x term. So we're going to have here x squared minus 2x. Then the numerical coefficient of x is negative 2. So we're going to have here 1 half of negative 2 squared. So 1 half of negative 2 is negative 1. So we're going to have here negative 1 squared. Negative 1 squared is equal to 1. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add 1. Then we're going to have here minus 1. Then we're going to subtract here 1 times this is 1. So 1 times 1 is 1. So minus 1. Then this is y equals uh, expressing this one into square of a binomial so we're going to have your x then the number that you have squared here is negative 1 so we're going to have here minus 1 squared the negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2 so your answer for number 3 is y equals quantity of x minus 1 squared minus 2 Number 4. Transform y equals 3 times the quantity of x minus 5 squared minus 2 into the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So we're going to write first y equals 3 times the quantity of x minus 5 squared minus 2. Then operate this one first, x minus 5 squared. So we're going to have here 3 times the quantity of x squared. Then this will become minus 10x plus 25 then minus 2 then multiplying here we have 3x squared the 3 times negative 10x is negative 30x 3 times 25 that will be 75 then minus 2 so you're going to have your 3x squared minus 30x then 75 minus 2 is 73. So plus 73. So this will be your answer for number 4. Let's have our last example here, number 5. Transform y equals 3x squared minus 5x plus 1 into the form y equals a times quantity of x minus h squared plus k. So we're going to write first y equals 3x squared minus 5x plus 1 then we're going to factor out 3 here so we're going to have y equals 3 times the quantity of x squared then this will be minus 5 over 3x then plus 1 then we're going to complete the squares of the binomial here so we're going to have your 3 times the quantity of x squared minus 5 over 3x. So completing the square, we're going to have 1 half of the numerical coefficient of x, negative 5 over 3. Then we're going to square this, this one. So 1 half of negative 5 over 3 is negative 5 over 6. Then squared, that will be 25 over 36. So we're going to add here 25 over 36. Then plus 1. Then we're going to subtract here 3 times 25 over 36. So 25 over 36 times 3, that will be equal to... 36 divided by 3 is 12. So we can have this one as 12. And this is 3 divided by 3 is 1. 
So we're going to have here 25 over 12. So subtracting here 25 over 12. Then express this one as the square of a binomial. So we're going to have here 3 times the quantity of x. Then the number that we have scored here is negative 5 over 6. So we're going to up here minus 5 over 6 squared. Then 1 minus 25 over 12. That will be so 1 minus 25 over 12 is just equal to 12 over 12 minus 25 over 12. So 25 minus 12 is 13. So we're going to have here negative 13 over 12. So this is minus 13 over 12. And this will be your answer. I hope this video helped you. If you have questions about the topic, please comment down below and see you next time.